Bimolecular nucleophilic substitution, or the SN2 elementary step, involves the donation of a pair of electrons in the nucleophile to a sigma star electron acceptor in the electrophile. And so it's an N to sigma star orbital interaction and N to sigma star electron flow. This is analogous to the proton transfer elementary step, and to show that, it's worth drawing this SN2 reaction, but just replacing the large carbon fragment with a hydrogen. When we do that, draw the same curved arrows, we can see that this proton transfer step is highly analogous to the SN2 step. The curved arrows are identical, and the orbital interaction is identical. All that's changed is the replacement of the carbon group for hydrogen. The orbital interaction here, as illustrated by this image, involves coaxial alignment, of the non-bonding lone pair orbital, typically a hybrid, and the sigma star orbital of the electrophile, and so this is sigma type orbital overlap. And here the group that departs with a pair of electrons, the bromine, which is converted to bromide, serves as a nucleofuge, and so its formal charge decreases by one, while the formal charge of the nucleophile increases by one because it's formally lost an electron. You'll also hear the nucleofuge in the SN2 step referred to as a leaving group, and we've used this terminology in an E2 context already. Notice in the SN2 elementary step that in order for the largest lobe in the electron source orbital, the hybrid or non-bonding lone pair orbital, to overlap with the largest lobe in the acceptor orbital, the sigma star orbital, the nucleophile has to approach from behind the carbon-bromine bond. It can't approach from this way or this way or any other orientation like this, it has to come from behind the electrophilic carbon in order for this orbital overlap to be effective. This is a case where viewing the localized molecular orbitals gives us great insight into the nature of the elementary step, which has stereochemical implications that we'll explore in a later lesson. For the time being, I just want to alert you to this orientational effect of the orbital overlap. It causes a situation where the nucleophile has to approach the backside of the electrophile leaving group bond. And this is commonly referred to with the required chuckling from the classroom as backside attack, since the nucleophile must attack the electrophile from the backside of the electrophile leaving group bond.